Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve one important interview scenario that was asked in General Mills. That is how to highlight minimum and maximum sales for each year in Tableau. And we are going to solve in two different ways that can really help you in interviews. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, so like as per the requirement, I've created a basic view here where I wanted to have sales for my subcategory item for each month here, okay? And then if you observe the sales, this is something like this. Now in this, I want to highlight where is my minimum sales. Like say, if you observe in this, for accessories in 2019, we have minimum sales at June and likewise maximum is at December. Likewise in 2020, Somewhere here, 498 is the minimum value we can see and 11,000 is the maximum value. So I want to highlight this. So one of the easiest way to solve this is using Windows function. Okay, so I'm just going to name it as a window function. Okay, so I'm just simply going to use window min to get the minimum value, but Important thing is here, uh, we need to use a table calculation and understand at which level we need to compute. Okay, so this will return the minimum value provided we are telling Tableau how to compute. So for that sake, I'm just dropping it here on label. Now observe what is the value we are getting here. So I'm getting 498 here in this first cell, January. But how is it computing? So if you observe my sales, for 2019, 2020, and 2021, and 2022, the minimum value that we have here in this is 498. That is what it is returning. So which means it is computing table across. Likewise, if you compare in February, we have minimum sales somewhere in 2021. That is the value it is returning. But we don't want that way. We want to you know, get it in a proper way. So I'm just going to edit this because we need minimum value from this month level, right? So I'm going to click on this edit and I'm going to use specific dimension or simply I can use table down also for now uh, or table down then across something like this and try. But I'm just going to use this at the level of uh, month or this and at the subcategory level, which is giving me minimum value here. Fine. Till here it is good. Now I'm simply going to highlight because that is what we want to do. We want to highlight our sales. So I've removed that from my uh, label. If my sum of sales is equal to this one, then highlight. Because remember, we don't want to show value anywhere. We just want to highlight it. So 667 should highlight because I'm using window min. I'm clicking on apply and okay. And I'm just going to take the field and drop it on color shelf here. Now we are getting different values here. This is where we need to adjust our uh, LOD, sorry, not LOD, this table level calculations. I'm selecting all at the level of month I need, restarting this one. Now if I remove this, observe here for accessories. We have minimum sales in June. It is That is what it is highlighting. In 2020, we have minimum sales in January. It is highlighting that. In 2021, we have sales in February. So it is working as per expectation. So I'm just going to you know, expand our calculation to fit the maximum value also. So you can write it in multiple ways. I'm just using uh, a standard LOD X uh, standard calculation for this. Here, instead of min, I'm using max. Simple. So either it will check for this or that. So I'm just going to correct this one. Apply. Okay. Now, if you observe, we are getting minimum value and we are also getting maximum value. In this also minimum value and a maximum value. That way we can do. If you just customize your colors, so null is something I don't, I want to keep it black. 
now only we are highlighting minimum and maximum this way we can solve it. okay so let us see another approach here and the same thing i'm just trying to rebuild here but i'm trying to do it using lod function okay very important use case so likewise i'm just going to build my view at the subcategory level order date and i'm just taking it so taking month my month also Okay, maybe uh, I'll just keep it like this. Yeah. We got the value here, sales. Okay, fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, LOD expression here. So let me just take this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, so let me just take this. I'm just going to create a calculated field and write it here. And would be so I'm trying to fix my sales first at this level. So, and First, this inner field will get calculated at a subcategory level. At a month level, you are going to calculate sum of sales, which means this cell you are going to get. So I'm just going to, I'll just put everything in single line and I'm going to comment this. Okay, so let us take this simply. So for each subcategory at a month level, give me sum of sales. That is what we are trying to do here. And I'm taking this and I'm dropping it on label also. So what are we getting? We are getting the same thing here, right? But now we want to tell Tableau, hey boss, you know, take minimum value from this. That is what we want to do, okay? So I am going to use uh, a minimum function from this because we are getting some here and on top of this minimum we are. Okay, so, so I'm just taking this and uh, fixed at subcategory level and i'm using data trunk of at a year level i need okay and order date and i am going to take minimum of the value that we are getting from this now you need to understand why I'm taking minimum here and why I'm taking here. Now this will become at a year level, right? So this is one year from me, for me. So in this 2019, I want to find out what is the minimum value. So let us see what will be our result if I do this. So of this, we know 667 is the minimum value. So we should get that. Now you see here, we are getting that 667. Here also 498. Here also we are getting. Not till here, it was, it is easy. I think many of us can solve this, but now the challenge is to highlight this part. How are we going to highlight that? Okay, like we have highlighted in using window max and window min function. I want to do a similar thing using LOD function also. So I'm simply going to match the value here again using my LOD function only. So I'm going to use, so for fixed, for each subcategory item at, at all this level. Okay. Should be equal to this. 
Okay, so what did we miss here? If I remove this, is this valid? Okay, it is valid. So, uh, so something I have to correct here, date from August. Okay, is equal to, okay, uh, for this, I need my sum of sales, which should be equal to my value. Okay, so which we are getting here. Now let us go there and I'm just going to click on this apply and okay. So this what I'm doing is I'm trying to drop my LOD function on label. Now see here only this is becoming true. Rest is becoming false. So simply I can take this and drop it on color shell. We are getting the same. So likewise, we can solve using LOD function also. Okay, so same instead of uh, a minimum, you can you know try it for maximum also. It should work. Okay, so I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video was you know very helpful for you. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and have a good day.